Hi, my name is Linda and I uh, live in the northeast of England and have done so probably for about 18 years. I think over the years, I would say one of the biggest things that I have struggled with, especially as a child and into early adulthood, was a real lack of confidence and a real sense of feeling that I can't, I can't do things. And I didn't like to be out of my comfort zone. Um, and I think that was because I'd spent most of my childhood in and out of children's home, probably more in than out. And I didn't have a very easy childhood. So I would say that I struggled with um, having um, a lack of confidence. And that really sort of showed itself in, in many ways. Um, one of the main things for me was that I found it really difficult to talk to anybody, particularly if I didn't know them. Um, I didn't know what to say. I couldn't make conversation. Having moved around a lot as a child, I missed out a lot on my early education. I was sort of moved from different school to different school. And I think I didn't think of myself as being particularly very clever, so I used to feel a, a, a very inadequate as a person. I didn't really have very many qualifications, and I sort of felt that there wasn't much that I could say that people would be interested in, so I always sort of felt I was less than, I think, than most people. I was really shocked when at the end of the 1990s, God actually spoke to me about how he wanted me to speak publicly. Now that was a massive, massive shock. I thought, God, I think you must be making some sort of mistake here. I've only just learned to speak with one person. You can't possibly be asking me to stand up in front of a whole load of people and say something that actually they're even gonna want to listen to, something that makes sense. to the point where I thought, actually, I can't do anything but obey God in this because he definitely is speaking. And so I thought, well, God, if I'm going to do this, you're just going to have to help me because there's nothing in me, nothing totally at all in me that can do this. And I did. And when I spoke, I was so amazed at how God used me. But I was amazed that actually what I had something to say that actually meant something to people and helped people. to speak not just on a Sunday morning to a congregation but I spoke abroad and it was in, in conferences and I spoke to quite a large number of people and at times in places where I actually even had to be interpreted and I thought I can't believe when I'm doing this I can't believe that this is me someone who couldn't talk to one person here I am now talking to a whole bunch of people and God was giving me something to say that impacted people's lives God would say to me you know it doesn't matter whether you think you can because I believe you can I know you can and at those points, I really had to dig down deep into what God said about me, what how God's perspective on me was not I wasn't an I can't person, but with God, I can do all things. You know, how I think I'm qualified doesn't really matter because God qualifies me. He equips me. God then sort of took me on to the next layer, if you like, of confidence. He said, Linda, he said, I'm really, really proud of you that you've done all this and you've obeyed me. It's been through gritted teeth, but you've obeyed me. He said, but what I want now is for you to be willing. And I, and I had to work at that because I thought, God, wasn't it good enough that I was just being obedient? But God said, I want your heart. I want your heart in this. And so I had to really sort of turn to God and look to God. And I'm not saying I've got it right all the time, but God has definitely much more got my heart and I'm much more willing now. One of the things I felt that God wanted me to do was to be able to share my faith with people. And I think one of the ways I felt God speak to me about doing that was going into a, a local prison and I would share my faith journey with the people that were on the Alpha course in prison. Um, I think one of the things I think God spoke to me about that time was to actually go in and not have anything prepared, but to speak off the cuff. I shared my story and I was just amazed at the impact that a lot of these guys um, 
felt from what I said, because a lot of my story resonated with them, hadn't been brought up in the care system. Many of them had done so too. And I was just so totally blessed by God that God would use me to do something so powerful in the lives of those, those, those guys. And it wasn't me. It's, it was God at work in me, because in and of, of myself, that is not anything I could do. It was totally God taking me from a place of, of an I can't person to a with God, I can, and I can do all things through him.